cheap guitar. Anyway, we're going to do a little something different. Uh, oh, by <laughs> hey, this is Studio Bug. <laughs> I'm just going to start right in the middle of it. Uh, what we're going to do today is a little bit of something different. So, uh, and I got catfish on the hooker, coffee on the fire, kicking back on this afternoon on a Sunday in July. Life couldn't be much better if I wrote it down myself, cause I ain't got no worries, ain't got no worries left. Just looking for the good times and leave the world behind. I don't need no dollar, just give me my lucky dime. Hey, it's the Studio Bug. Uh, good to see you again. I'm glad you're back with me. Uh, we're going to do a little bit something different today. Uh, I've, I've got some friends of mine that were asking me uh, about uh, microphones and that kind of thing. So what we're going to do is I've got a list of microphones that I use, and I'm going to try to look at you again, that I use in the studio. And uh, uh, like I said, I ran the studio for about 12 years, paid for everything I owned with it in that 12 years. And then 9-11 happened, and all of a sudden the recording business is a luxury. Everybody else at 9-11 was wondering how, what, what their next food was, where their next food was going to come from. So it kind of put the studio on the back burner. And I get that. I get that. Uh, that was just a bad time for the United States. But a lot of people uh, had to eat the big one on that one. And I was one of them. So, and I'm glad, you know, honestly, uh, after I, was, I did that, I became a teacher which uh, was a music teacher at Chat Academy in Selma. And I had, I think in one year, I had over 180 guitar students. That was in one year. And that's in counting. Uh, it was a magnet school. And uh, anyway, uh, I had private uh, students as well. So that's a lot of guitar students. And so I got kind of burnt out on that. So I did that for about six years. And then, uh, uh, then I started working for a company called safety net that worked with, uh, wayward kids that were, that just seemed to not have a chance. And they're really doing a got a good job and God is truly in that business. And so, uh, just think about every member once in a while, they gave me a good 10 years and I retired from them and uh now i'm doing this but um but anyway what i'd like to do uh, instead of talking about me uh is talk about some of the microphones that i use um even in the recordings that i do now uh, i still use these mics uh I, i'd like to share with you what are my go-to mic what are my not so good go-to mics what are what are, what are the definitely not to go to mics um but the thing is, there are some of them that are very expensive, and then there's some of them that work fairly well that uh, picked up in in pawn shops that uh, that do okay. And so let me let me get started on this and tell you what they are. One of the one of the first microphones I ever bought was a PSR DE60. Now I know you're not familiar with that. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of it. A lot of you out there will recognize it if you uh, if you do any recording and if you're in the radio and TV business, you'll think that that one is an EVRE320. Well, it's not. At the time that I first opened my studio, well, actually my studio wasn't even uh, open at the time. I bought this this that microphone because the Electra Voice RE320 uh, was too expensive to buy for me. Okay, and even though this uh, PSR DE60, which is exactly like it, which has the exact same voice print, it uh, was a much cheaper microphone to buy, even though they were very much the same. And I, I've used this and still use this microphone. And this, this, this has been 20 years ago I bought, bought this mic. It is a perfect voice mic. It is a perfect instrument mic, and I do use it for both. But the RV... Uh, I mean, the Electra voice has come down considerably. In fact, you can get a brand new uh, EV RE23, uh, 320 for about $300 on, Epiphone, on, uh, on eBay right now. And it is uh, an excellent mic. You cannot, this microphone that I'm showing you now, you cannot get 
They don't make them anymore. I, I looked them up. I've looked them up everywhere. I can't even find the PSR company. So I may be wrong about this. If one of you guys know better than me, please, please remark down in the remark section because I would love to have more of these microphones, but I'm afraid that that's not not going to be the case. I made an awful lot of money with this microphone. I love this microphone. It is an excellent voiceover microphone. It is an excellent microphone for radio and TV, which I've done both. So this microphone is awesome for those particular things. But the RE320, it has the same specs. So for about 300 bucks, it comes with, um, I think it comes with the box and, and uh, that kind of thing. So you might want to look into that. Uh, I think I showed a picture of the uh, the the RE320. So now you know. That's my go-to mic. I mean, I really use that in just about every recording that I do. Okay. All right. My next one is an Audio Tektra, which is a P48 AT2020. I should have the picture up for that now. Uh, that is a that is a uh, a phantom mic. So in order for you to run that mic, you're going to have to have 24 volts or 48 volts uh, phantom power. Now, this is a great mic for uh, recording your uh, your guitar and all of your instruments. However, be warned, it is very sensitive. So if you have like right now, you may be able to hear some heaters running because it's cold. It will pick that up. Now, I don't let that bother me a whole lot because the rest of the music in the uh, that you're put, you're laying down covers up that sound. So it's not that big a deal. But uh, it is an excellent mic. Uh, I can't tell you how much it is. I think it's a couple hundred bucks. But it but it uh, it comes with the um, um, the mic clip. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, isolation clip. Uh, and um, it comes in a bag, I think. So um, you can look those up on eBay. I'm sure they have them. Great mic. All right, the next one uh, is a, I picked up in a, a pawn shop. Uh, I think I paid about 60 bucks for it. However, you can pick these up for about 100 bucks new on eBay as well, or um, uh, American musician or uh, whatever, but anyway, it's a Behringer uh, B1. Now, if you've watched my vlogs, that's the one that's in the picture all the time. I've got a picture of it up there now, but that's the one that I'm always saying the mics did. Um, it is an okay mic, uh, however, it is so sensitive that if you play really loud in front of that thing on your guitar, you will overmodulate it. Um, I have tried to do to fix that uh, by it's got a flip switch on there so that you got a roll off switch and it's that and the other if you're familiar with what I'm talking about but it's still uh, like I said it's not it's a uh, uh, it's a condenser mic it's not a phantom mic but um, it records well but it is not my go-to mic okay and that's a Behringer B1 and I do like Behringer stuff this is just not my favorite mic okay um my go-to mic when i'm live and when i'm recording if i had to do away with all of my microphones except this one it would be a shore 58 shore 58 you can ask anybody anybody who who records live who sings live who does everything live this is your go-to mic Okay, this is the best mic that they make for the money. You can get these for about 99 bucks. Okay, and that is an awesome price for a microphone of this caliber. It is excellent. The only one that I think that is as good as this one is the SM57. They are both the same mic except for the 58 is an, uh, an omnidirectional, which means it records all the way around it. The 57 is a directional, which it only records what's exactly in front of it. Um, either one make great microphone uh, for your guitar if you're playing live. Uh, I kind of like the 58 if I'm playing live because it doesn't pick up all that sound, sound on the sides of the microphone, uh, which could be, you know, 
cars, people talking, and this kind of thing. The 57 will, so you have to turn it down a little bit. But uh, both are excellent mics. If I had no mic in the studio and I had I had my choice of two, that would be the two that I would get. An SM58, SM57. I don't think they make a better microphone for the price. And I think almost everyone that is familiar with the SM58 and 57 will tell you the same thing. If you look at people on stage, 58s, that's what they're singing in. Um, the next one is another one that I picked up in a pawn shop, which is a Samson M10. Samson M10. Okay, if you are going to sing outside and it's raining, if you're going to uh, know you're going to be in a rough spot and people are going to swing microphones and do stupid stuff with your stuff, that Samson M10, it is not, it is not an SM58, but it looks like one. But it is not. It does not have the same voice patterns. It does not have the same uh, uh, voice uh, or uh, sound uh, coloration. It is not as good a mic. However, right now on eBay, and I, I by the way, I <laughs> none of these people are paying me for nothing. But um, if you get on eBay and take a look at this Samson M10, you can buy three of them for like 40 bucks. And they look just like 57s and 58s. Uh, they, they, for the quality, uh, I have used them in a pitch. They work well uh, as far as microphones to re uh, not to record with. I've never recorded with one, but I have, but, but, but as far as... Um, uh, sound reinforcement, they do a fairly decent job. So for that amount of money, you can have three microphones, the clips, and the case for it for about 40 bucks. So, <laughs> all right, man, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, those are my microphones that I use in the studio, Backwoods Recording Studio. This is my CD. I use the uh, the PRS DE60 to record the microphone or either my vocal or both. Um... Uh, the audio tetra sometimes on the mic, on, uh, mic, my guitars and stuff with it. But anyway, you can hear them on here. I'm trying to give one of these away free. If you want one, let me know why you want one. The person with the best answer, I will, um, I will send them one free in the mail. I'll get up with you and I'll send you one. I don't care if you're in South Africa. I don't care where you are. I will send it to you. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. Uh, I enjoyed. Uh, please, please subscribe. Please uh, hit like. That helps me. I, uh, you know, I, I just looked. I've got uh, 98. If I could get two more subscribers, I'd have 100. Come on, man. I know how you like me. I do. I like you, too. Y'all be sweet down here. I ain't got no worries. Ain't got no worries. Ain't got no worries left. Just looking for the good times and leave the bad behind. I ain't got no money. Just give me that lucky dime.